Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jack Berry, and today we are talking with David Graham, the executive director of the Golf Association of Michigan, which is uh, under uh, David's leadership over how many years now, Dave? Starting my 14th year. 14th year. It has expanded terrifically in uh, the number of tournaments that it, that it uh, sponsors, the people that it's brought to the game, and all that good stuff. So let's talk about a little bit about that. Great, Jack. Well, it's always good to have an opportunity to talk with you. And, and you know, Jack, you've represented the game so well over the years. And uh, But we're excited at the Golf Association of Michigan. We believe that the game continues to have its challenges, but also some great upside. And they are? Well, when we think about where we've been in recent years with the economy in Michigan, two of the big three in bankruptcy, um, the impact on jobs in population and what have you, and having weathered that storm, we can't help but be optimistic. The auto companies are cutting great big annual bonus checks to their employees. People have a little bit more stability. They have more discretionary dollars. And they can get back involved in their favorite pastimes, many of which look at golf as being the game, and I love that because that's what it's all about for me. So I think that we've got some opportunities on the forefront that is going to allow us to get people more involved, more engaged with us, playing the game more. That's what my job's all about, frankly. Well, uh, we keep on hearing the talk about growing the game, growing the game, getting more people interested in it. And now this year, there's uh, coming up with a new program, thanks to the Augusta National Golf Club, Billy Payne, the uh, big man down there. Good idea with the PGA and the GAM. And we're going from the punt, pass, and kick contest to drive chip and putt. You know, there's nothing wrong when you come across a good idea to steal it. And I think that this is one of the first initiatives that's been embraced on a national basis that really has some great potential. Unfortunately, this past year, Michigan wasn't part of the first 11 states to launch it. But we had a great success story of a kid from the UP who had to go down to Wisconsin this last summer to try to qualify and he was one putt shy of making it to Augusta. Okay, and so you, you think about somebody willing to travel like that. Well this year we're gonna have 11 qualifiers around the state of Michigan, two semi-regionals and ultimately a state championship regional and we're gonna have kids who are gonna get exposed to the game of golf and their parents who in the past may not have had a lot of interest in getting engaged with it. And so I think this has great legs. It's a great way to get junior golfers in, exposed and involved in the game. And it's uh, boys and girls, and it starts at age seven. There are uh, different, uh, the age groups, seven to nine, what is it, 10 at 11? 10 to 11, 12 to 13, and then finally 14 to 15. Right. And I understand last year, I was at a USGA meeting um, last week in Dallas, and they were discussing some of the players, and they had some of the top players from the women's amateur, 15 years old, who are competing in this event. So we're getting kids from all skill levels, and it's great because you want it to be a great competition, but you want to get it open to all those recreational kids, new first-timers for that new opportunity to get exposed to the game and get involved. And let's think about their parents. One of the things that we're going to be doing at the GAM, partnering with the Michigan section, is Every one of those kids who participates this season will get a free membership into the Golf Association of Michigan as part of our junior program. And we're going to offer their parents, if they're not a member of the GAM, we're going to give you a special deal to get involved with us and become a member of the GAM and take advantage of all those benefits. How many members are in the GAM now? 55,000 in holding. <laughs> and I'll tell you, it's not been easy to keep them all. We've had a little bit of a, of a downturn as it relates to the economy being tough. Um, golf courses contracting in terms of their memberships, but we've held our own and uh, we're very optimistic that we're going to start seeing growth this season and getting more people involved and engaged with us. One, one thing we uh, want to uh, mention about the, uh, the kids, 
The big prize is the, the uh, people from the various regionals, they get to go to the Augusta National with their parents. And the Sunday before the Masters begins, they're going to have the final, and these kids are going to be playing on the, at the Augusta National Golf Club. Uh, what a prize to have their parents down there with them. Absolutely. When you think about and, and how many people have it on their bucket list just to be able to go to Augusta one time in their life. Now, Jack, unlike most of us, has been there more times than anybody can count and had his own parking spot, which we still wonder why he stopped going. But having said that, it's a dream of every golfer to go to Augusta, to stand on the 10th tee and see that remarkable run down to the left on that hole and say to yourself, there truly are hill, hills here in Augusta. Well, that's one the thing that surprises everybody that I've ever known that went there for the first time. Wow, these are hills here. And it gets, you know, your legs are tired uh, by the end of the day. Well, and it's truly an athletic event. The, you know, people suggest sometimes that golf is not a, an athletic experience. And let me tell you something. If you can make it up and down those hills playing golf at that level, you are truly a world-class athlete. Absolutely. That's why we don't see too many of the seniors playing it anymore. <laughs> well, you know, Craig Sadler's sticking around for one last one so he can play with his son, and I'm pretty happy for him. But I think Augustus is probably pretty happy he's ready to retire, too. That's right. Uh, what else is happening at uh, the GAM? How many tournaments are you putting on this year? Well, we're going to actually have um, 23 championships. We're going to have over 100 days of competition. Um, our schedule has grown dramatically over the years. And one of the things that we've learned is we need to provide championship opportunities, not only for the best golfers, but for the rest of the golfers, the recreational golfers. So we have net team events, Michigan net amateur championship, but a new one that we launched and brought out three years ago is really catching a lot of momentum is the GAM scramble. We're gonna have over 30 local qualifiers around the state we're following the model of the Buick Scramble from days back, and we're going to have at the state championship five-person teams, including the golf professional. And the golf professional from that member's club or that player's facility is going to be playing for a purse. So the, the pros are playing for money, they're supposed to, and the rest of us are playing for the prestige and a gift certificate from our sponsor, Boyne Resorts. And so it's been a great event. It's going to bring more golfers into the game better exposure and it's not just the best players it's all the players that's terrific uh, because uh, sometimes I think the people at the bottom uh, figure well what's in it for me <laughs> well you're exactly right and you know the beauty of a scramble is it's pretty low stress because you know you got your partners out there they're hitting the same shot and you want to contribute now we we have you, you got to use your drive at least a couple of times during the course of that round but beyond that you're part of there and it's a real team experience and it's great fun and we've had co-ed teams and uh, all women teams, all men teams and it's just it's fantastic. Now where are, what sites uh, do you have for this? It's uh, all over the state? All over the state including up in the UP. We're, we're trying to get four sites up in the UP um, and the state championship will be at Boyne Mountain and we think that that's a tremendous venue for this championship. The players love it. Plus, the idea is it's on September the 15th, a Monday, and we're working on putting together a weekend package for all those participants so that they can come in on Friday, play some practice rounds, enjoy the amenities of the facility, and have a fantastic experience, finishing with a couple of those teams being champions on Monday. Sounds like you've been pretty busy. <laughs> you know, Jack, I'll tell you, I was uh, talking to one of my officers the other day, and uh, we were talking about... Well, you know, how many hours you put in in a year? And, you know, the, if you do the math, there's 2,000 hours of standard work hours in a work. I said it's 3,000 in our part of the world, and it's, uh, it's only going up. But it's, if you got the passion for the game and you have the good fortune to be able to work in the game of golf, you don't mind it at all, and that's how I feel. Do you need volunteers? Absolutely. We're constantly looking for volunteers. We um, have a rules seminar that's being hosted by the USGA as we speak this weekend. And we're getting more people trained on the rules to work with us. But beyond that, for the GAM scrambles, we're going to have more volunteer needs. And for the drive, chip, and putt program, we're going to need more volunteers. So we're always on the lookout to get more people involved with us. Just go to gam.org, and you can go through volunteer sign-up there and get involved with us. And you don't have to be an expert in the rules. We'll help you get smart on them. 
Okay, uh, I think some of those rules would be best forgotten. <laughs> I suspect Tiger agrees. <laughs> <laughs> and a few others. <laughs> Thank you, David. We've been talking with David Graham from the Golf Association of Michigan, the executive director. He's done a super job since he's been in there. The uh, membership of the Golf Association of Michigan has uh, shot way up. We have tournaments all over the state now. It's not it used to be kind of a Detroit-based organization, but uh, no more. They're all over the state, from uh, from the far western edge of the Upper Peninsula to the southeastern corner down around Monroe. You're doing a great job. Well, thanks, Jack. We appreciate it, and uh, it is a labor of love.